Hey, welcome back. It's back to the basics. We are talking OSPF. Let's go! Hey, welcome back. We are talking routing protocols, OSPF, open shortest path first. It's a link state protocol. It uses the shortest path first algorithm. And there's a couple of ways, a couple of network types that OSPF works under. One is a non-broadcast network type. The other is a point-to-point -point or multi-access network type. So Ethernet would be multi-access if devices or routers are, are communicating on an Ethernet connection it would be multi-access. If it's a point-to-point -point connection, that is gonna be a non-broadcast in most cases, uh, or like a frame relay connection, which is kind of old school, but those are non-broadcast networks, typically. Uh, areas, so let's talk a little bit about areas. So OSPF uses some areas, area zero being everything must be connected to area zero. So you have area zero at the center of the network or at the center of your what you think is the core, and then you add other areas for each site in a WAN environment. Area zero could be the WAN. Um, in some cases, it could be the core of the network, and area one would be the LAN, and area two would be the LAN of another site, and area three would be the LAN of another site. OSPF has areas to kind of to control how routing updates are being sent and processed throughout the environment. Um, it uses a DR and a BDR election process on multi-access networks. So like for an Ethernet, uh, as an example, Ethernet as an example, if you had five routers on an Ethernet segment and one would be elected the DR, which is the designated router, and then there would be another router elected as the backup DR, the backup designated router. So if the, the primary fails, you've got a backup with the full, the full table and the updates. The, the rest of the routers on that segment would use multicast to communicate their routes to the DR and BDR, and then the DR will replicate those routes out to the other other routers um, on that segment. So it's basically around, it's, it's, it's to make it efficient for routing updates. It uses cost as kind of its main, de main determining factor on how to, what, what's the closest uh, route? You know, so if I get two routes with the same subnet in it, which one's closer? How do I de make a decision? Well, it uses cost to determine what's the closest route. Um, and like I said, multicast is a big part of OSPF if it's on a shared medium. So it uses those 224 addresses, multicast, to share routes to receive updates, things like that. So that's OSPF in a nutshell. So you may be saying, why would I use OSPF? Well, OSPF, as we mentioned in another video, writing protocols are important about sharing network information. And OSPF is used, if you had like, for example, if you had a all Cisco network, maybe you would prefer to use EIGRP because it is a little simpler to deploy. If you had a mixed environment, where you've got Cisco, you've got Juniper, you've got uh, Picket, uh, you want to use maybe OSPF because that's more of an open standard protocol. It's more su it's supported widely across other manufacturers. OSPF makes a lot of sense, so you're not redistributing. And redistributing means taking a route that you learned from OSPF and putting that into EIGRP, or taking a route that you learned in EIGRP and putting it in OSPF. That's redistribution, and that adds complexity. So it's better to have one routing protocol with very little redistribution if you don't have to do it. And that would be a reason why you'd go with OSPF. So to sum it all up, link state protocol, shortest path first algorithm, point to multi-point uh, is a broadcast network. And then you have non-broadcast as the network types. You use areas, area zero is required and everything must connect directly to area zero. Uh, area zero, area one, area two, there is some, you know, with every technical thing, there's always some caveat. You could have area one and area two and use the, you know, sham link and all this stuff. Uh, Forget all that, we're not worried about that, but for the most part, OSPF zero needs to connect to every other area. BDR and DR, those are the primary knowledge holders of all the routes and they pass it out to other, other uh, devices, routers and switches on the same broadcast network to drive efficiency. And that's really it, multicast. If I said anything in here that you're like, whoa, I'd love, to have a little bit more information, leave a comment. Make sure you like and you subscribe. You follow us on Twitter. You do the thing. You check the box. You do the See you later. <laughs>